Kubernetes Container Runtime Interface CRI CTL so if you go and google about the Kubernetes it will tell you it's a container orchestration tool which is nothing but container deployment container scaling management security governance etc and this kubernetes is works like an agent it does not have any implementation of a containers yes and it how it will work it will use internally container runtime and we know so far since day one container means docker docker means container runtime means docker container runtime that was the only one everybody know right that was the kubernetes was using initially and how the cri is born so before cri born kubernetes basically this is a linux host let's consider and this is a kubernetes and this is a kubelet whenever you try to create a pod by using kubectl command basically kubectl is integrated with the docker and first thing the kubelet will call a docker shim what is this docker shim is it's a kubernetes module it's implemented by the kubernetes to create and manage the pods in a declarative way i wanted to replicas means to contain two same containers to be created so that everything was taken care by the docker shim api right and if you install a docker it will have a docker daemon and this shim will talk to docker daemon docker D docker daemon will talk to container d which is container d is also by docker which is basically container d will take care of the second level processing and all it's a kind of a container runtime and this container d will talk to run c run c is nothing but another low level container runtime which is developed in c language which will actually create a container so kubelet to shim api shim to docker daemon docker daemon to container d runtime that to run c and then container was created then during this 1.5 kubernetes now 1.24 and over the period of time the second runtime got introduced which is called a rocket and kubernetes got incorporated this is into the kubelet so that kubelet can use this as well then after that this third runtime called hyper.sh which is also a third runtime got joined then then troubles got started not troubles actually the underlying the problems so skewblet has to maintain a multiple run times so it's very complex this one has a own logic this one has a own logic this one has a own logic and this skewblet has to understand and accordingly distribute who does the what and all right so now that's what the container runtime interface was came into the picture as was introduced then they decided to implement this one now container runtime interface before that in order to do the cri we need to have a some common mechanism so which is called oci which is open container initiative which is a linux foundations uh, and basically project and basically what this open container initiative does is it it has a some common governance structure right here three runtimes so tomorrow 10 runtimes 100000 runtimes then there must be a some governance structure some runtime references some common format some common image specifications image signing right docker has an image signing and tomorrow somebody has a different signing and it should work on the linux windows etc the common uh, basically factors to satisfy and it should have a, a common container runtime should be applicable to all the operating system and it should it should support the, all the registries currently we know everybody docker hub it should support elastic container registry azure container registry alibaba google cloud registry everything not only one there are many oracle cloud uh, container registry so so they need to have uh, some common specification which is called oci specifications were introduced and which is a uh, governance it's a lf project linux foundations and they have introduced a oci compliant runtimes so in the previous slide we see run c which is developed in the c language right so this is basically a oci compliant what the oci wants a common set of standards practices that is this is compliant 
and also there are other runtime c run kata gvisor it will use a run sc so there are many other many more just i mentioned these are four so these are the osa complaint so they they there is a some kind of a, a team gathered in order to achieve a, a container runtime interface now next yes container runtime interface where exactly it will fit in a kubernetes architecture we know is api server whenever you apply kubectl apply if this deployment is creating a some 50 parts right this will go and hit the etcd then after that controller will take care then after that scheduler will take care of the scheduling this particular part into the different worker node if you are creating a two replicas it will create here and here one right so here cri is instead of docker this kubelet will talk to CRI by using a gRPC communication. API server to kubelet, what kind of communication? It's a HTTP REST communication. But internally kubelet to G CRI, what call? It's a gRPC. Maybe you can ask why gRPC here, right? gRPC, we will look that. So CRI, this CRI is which will fit here. Now next. CRI is basically announced in 2016 yes if you go and google it it's there in the 2016 it's launched and what is exactly the CRI here it's a, an abstraction layer right so kubelet no only CRI and CRI internally what runtime docker container d or there are many more cont container runtimes it may talk to any other runtime doesn't care that's abstraction right that's what the abstraction layer right of course looking at the diagram and as i said in the previous slide it uses a grpc why grpc is a separate concept maybe you can go and google it grpc is for the high performance better than a http and rest it will work so what is the full form google's remote procedural call which is introduced by the google right so that is enough maybe you can go and google it now why we need a cri of course it's for interoperability means any kind of a runtime can be added to the kubelet so that kubelet can talk to cri cri to other runtimes will work so yes definitely it's a loosely coupled yes any runtime you can add remove and pluggable of course you can plug and you can remove add and you can also achieve a sandboxing as well so this sandboxing we will see in the further slides right now next cri architecture so let's try to understand how the cri architecture now let's say this is a kubernetes host some linux host right under that we know kubelet right that kubelet level and there will is a cri right this, these are the two components right at the worker node level first kubelet level there is a generic runtime manager right so here there is no docker here just keep in mind so generic runtime so this is a one component second this generic component will talk to generic container runtime interface this is a just interface it does not have any implementation it's a just a calling area this cri basically first it will talk to docker shim what is this docker shim its docker shim is become like a grandfather it's a old man right docker shim is for what to deal with the docker docker network plugin docker ce docker daemon and etc etc and it's this is a docker process there is another one which is called a remote so here means this container runtime interface supporting the old school docker as well and the new interface called a remote as well what this is doing is here this remote is will talk to actual container runtime interface so this cri has streaming api server and cri server which is called a shim api we will call streaming and cri right and we will look at the each and everything and basically after the in the cri level there is a cni component container component and image component what happens is this is all the grpc calls and actually whenever you create a pods right it will use a run c 
as i said right is developed in a c language and this container d this container d who developed docker so which is take out from the docker and kept it here as a container engine right and also kata and gvisor these are also isolation sandboxing point of view these are also a low level container engines which will take care of the container creation so here this is the one and if you look at the kubernetes documentation right uh, i'll opening the kubernetes documentation and you go and search the kubelet right uh, in the kubernetes documentation and if you look at the control f here say remote r e m o t right say remote i search here right if you look at here ppt right container runtime interface of kubelet is have a two switches one is a docker switch another one is a generic cri switch here if you look at here the documentation right sorry yeah here look at here container runtime for what for kubelet right default is what docker and what are the possible values docker and remote right so i think this is enough to uh, understand the, this entire architecture and in the next 1.24 right uh, currently i am using a 1.23 and kubernetes announced that after 1.24 this docker shim basically is going away is going to remove by the kubernetes system now the cri implementation point of view who is implementing this particular cri right and this kubelet has still has a docker shim right of course yes here right this is a docker docker means how the docker will talk by using a docker shim right now and remote remote is basically what it's a generic cri yes of course basically here there is no just simply they mentioned as a remote which is nothing but it may be any kind of a runtime that's what the, it's a generic cri and we have seen cri server there in the previous diagram right i'll let me show you streaming server and cri server in the cri level right streaming and cri which is shim right so streaming is based cri server basically take care of shim api it'll take care of creating deleting updating etc containers then streaming server what it will take care executing of the uh, execute port forward of the containers it will take care this is a stream will take care two different functionalities and finally containers will be created by the container engine which is in the bottom which we discussed and which will have a cni as well of course once a pod is created then this with the help of a cni pod will be created and which is a network established and it's a ip address assigning etc and it's a it will happen here right that's how the pod will be created and give you the an ip address right and run c we know it's a low level runtime and which is oci compliant and run c is uh, again is again updated by using a golang and it's a docker's open source initially of course is developed by using a c sharp but then after that it developed in a golang right now who is implementing this particular cri this is a kubernetes system right and kubelet as i said right so and ultimate goal is to create a pods of course right now first the old channel kubelet still using a docker shim which will talk to docker d daemon container d and run c then pod will be created and there are the two major implementers of cri right and if you go to the uh, kubernetes documentation right installing a kubeadm just to search it here right here scroll down here right installing a runtime what runtime container runtime how many possibilities are here one is a docker docker shim right as we are uh, discussing in this particular slide this is a old school right and I, it's not a i'm using a old school but it's a docker of course a very popular Uh, so container d and cryo so cri is implemented by the two major providers which is cri container d which will have a container d 
run time and which will talk to the run C which is developed using a Golang right this is the the new implementer of a CRI which is by the Mobi project of course uh, docker is also by the Mobi then second is a CRIO cryo will call which is a container D for this only cryo this is called as a container D cry container D so cry container D nobody will pronounce but container D and this cryo by the red hat and that will use a run C which is a low level is the same right and there are other implementer these are the two major and if you look at the documentation right uh, here the these two are there and you go and click on this particular here right you want to install a container runtime what you wanted to install container do you want to install or you wanted to install a cryo another runtime or docker engine which is kept on the bottom right that's what the i know mirror is container runtime there are so many runtimes yeah of course uh, we are not discussing and there is other one like singularity and as well as uh, this one as well uh, mirantis and there are alibaba cloud also they have uh, their own uh, runtimes so they will use uh, their individual by this basis labs right this kind of a run implement but major implementers are these two that's why i kept in the green color and ultimate goal is a pod i hope this will give you the uh, idea of the cri now next container d so here if you look at the, this container d there is a some speciality of the container d maybe you can ask right we are get rid of a docker and making towards a generic but what is the benefit of this container d yes that's what i am coming so this container d has a isolation and as well as a sandboxing concept means you are not only creating a pod but also pod is nothing but multiple containers means ultimately you are creating a container that container will be isolated completely from the host machine means it will be completely isolated in if you look at the cks exam there is a, a sandboxing concept right so here the sandboxing is you are completely isolating a container with a its own runtime with a limited set of a permission c groups limited set of a namespace access what namespace linux namespace access linux kernel access that's what the uh, this sandboxing and isolation concept means right and in the kubelet container d which is uh, one of the cri right this guy right cri and this container d will have a shim api what is the shim api will does is of course this is the latest generic container runtime e you can utilize kata kata containers or gvisor container which is by the google if it starts with a g it's a google one and firecrocker this is also one of the container isolation sandboxing runtime and the nabla so there is a run c right we seen rather than the run c you can use the kata gvisor firecrocker nabla this is still possible in the kubernetes in the ckls also there is a one exam create a pod by using a kata or gvisor and i have created one video as well maybe you can go and watch but overall idea is kubelet is basically have a shim api where you can plug the multiple isolators or sandboxing low level run times you can attach detach see i have a one part wanted to run kata you can use i have a some 10 parts i wanted to run with a gvisor yes pretty much possible you can use i have a extremely secured application i wanted to use nabla yes pretty much possible you just install and attach to the kubelet that's it very simple right so now we are container d is has a very good features right as a based on the previous slide and this slide now container d architecture this is taken from the container d.io official documentation right uh, so first here hardware system erm intel based system windows linux right this is a low level where actual parts are created right second we have an ecosystem google cloud docker ibm azure alibaba aws rancher there are many container orchestration platforms right so some uses kubelet 
which will use a CRI runtime. Some people will use a Docker runtime, container decline, pouch, or build kit, CTR, any kind of uh, uh, runtime they use. Ultimately, they will create a containers, right? If you use whatever. So, if you look at this container D architecture, and in fact, you can go to the Google right here container d architecture if i search here it will go to the github page right this is a container d architecture so same architecture which is there in the container d dot io container d dot io right this is a official page and there is a one example right so here right. now container d has a api core and backend three major components api level which has a cri api service handler and metrics related handler you can if you wanted to get the metrics of this container this is will expose service handler and container client and it's a core processing unit which has right here the same here is basically very high level they given right so basically these all communication happens through the grpc which is very performance oriented that's why the container will create in a seconds nanoseconds sometimes right yeah then the core layer basically it has a various services right uh list service image service namespace snapshot there are so many services metadata service and it has a backend as well if the container wanted to store something right and this will this backend layer will take care and backend layer level there is a shim api that shim api before creating a container runs in run hs by microsoft kata firecracker gvisor by google and shim d shim basically these isolators sandboxing concept will just before the container creation means just before creating a container there is an additional layer filter is applied so this is possible through the shim that's what the we have seen in the previous slide so this is overall architecture and container d has a very big deep explanation there are uh, some articles in the internet uh, they are very well explained uh, right uh, and this is basically high level is this now next container engine so basically if you look at here container engine we know uh, yeah let's docker is a container engine as we know initially docker is a neither cri right container runtime interface or nor oci implementation that's what the we know right so, but it uses internally container d and run c which is developed in the c language right the container d so this container d was taken out and run c is also taken out and which was uh, upgraded as well of course now there is alternates are if you wanted to create a container and alternate is a pod map which is by the red hat which will basically as per the oci spec and can run the docker images and the the good thing about the pod man is you can create a pods and other one is a builder which is by the red hat red hat which is basically oci specs and what is the benefit of a builder is rather than a multiple layer it will just create a container in a single layer that's what the its separate purpose they created by the red hat right and there is another one is a build kit which is by the mobi project they have created for the another own purpose there is other one kaniko which is by the red hat for kubernetes they have implemented and this is for the one separate purpose so and skepto this is also by the red hat so this skepto the beauty of the scopio sorry not skepto this is basically from the one repo to another repo you can transfer so this means like a skepto scope you uh, containers are compatible with the uh, cross registries and the dive this is another uh, container engine right uh, not a cri it's a container engines right and basically it will basically if you use a dive you can use a layers and it's a differences etc which will give us some more but right and the last is run c and c run run c is a low level yes correct this alternate is a c run of course these two will be used by whose docker and podman
nowadays the many people are using a podman why because docker has a docker desktop and which is subscription based they uh, made it as a subscription based so everybody using a podman right uh, now cri ctl so basically this is if you look at the name cri ctl cri is nothing but container runtime interface ctl means it's a utility so cri ctl crick tl or cri ctl whatever the utility no matter whatever the runtime you use this is the particular utility will be used docker ps doc we know docker ps docker images etc commands right but here if you are using a container d what command you will use in order to check the containers right this is a cri ctl and if you go and look at the google and just type for cri ctl and just enter right it will take you to the kubernetes page and second one is a github page right i'll open uh, these two and a kubernetes page is basically cri ctl the command line utility cri compatible for the runtime race so whatever the runtime use and good thing about the cri ctl whatever the cube ctl kubelet is talking to the api cri api directly this utility is talking so and this utility is gives a more extendable features to troubleshoot check inspect check the logs and everything uh, this utility will be helpful whenever you are dealing with the other than the docker or any other now so basically here i am in a uh, two node kubernetes cluster and one master one worker and here if you look at the my master node is running with the docker and my worker node is running with the container d i migrated from docker to container d right so if you look at the cube ctl get pod hyphen all if i say right and by busy box pod one foo pod and one dev pod and uh, and cube ctl uh, of course some of the crash loop backup just forget about that uh, cube ctl get um, namespaces right and there is extra dev namespace uat namespace right and in the dev namespace one pod is running web and uat namespace caddy pod is running and in the default namespace foo pod is running right so right now what i will do is uh, i will go inside the ssh node 1 right uh, i will go inside the node 0 1 which is where the container d is running so sudo su right first right so crick tl cri ctl cri ctl hyphen hyphen version cri ctl what is the version 1.19 i am running right now second cri ctl and version just remove the hyphen hyphen then it will tell you the container specific version what is the runtime i am using container d what is the runtime version 1.4.3 right and what is the runtime api version etc this information will show right and one more thing all these commands where i can get so as i said just google it it will take you to the kubernetes hyphen 6 and this is a cri tool which is a cri ctl right and what are the commands all docker attach docker create docker execute docker images right so this we will see and now now and cri ctl has uh, some configuration right and where is that configuration we look at so if you look at the cat right at c cri ctl dot yaml oops so if you look at the CRI CTL AML and it has a runtime endpoint, image endpoint, timeout, debug, all the commands. And if you look at the documentation, right, and here, right, yeah, look at here, just documentation. So this runtime endpoint is nothing but if you have a here, I am using a runtime as a container D why because i have migrated i will create i will open a duplicate pod cube ctl get nodes hyphen o wide because my node 0 1 is running on the container d container d is specific right specific uh, its endpoint is this is the guy and if i wanted to have a docker.io or if i wanted to whitelist any image specific endpoint i can configure here so it is a blank means it will take all 
by default and you can set other configuration that's what the its end point right uh, they they given for the so docker shim so basically as a runtime end point is not set maybe if this is a blank what this will do basically it will go and hit a docker shim container d cryo and cryo docker d so these are the all the end point it will check and you can run as well the various queries now let's dig there okay so this is a configuration and how to set that cri ctl and hyphen h right these are the commands you no need to open this big documentation in the browser you can just check it here itself and the good thing is that there is a config option right and uh, cri ctl config hyphen h cri ctl config set so i you can set the end point something like this so cri ctl config hyphen hyphen set of course this is a command here and runtime end point runtime end point equal to and whatever the container d cryo or whatever alibaba any kind of uh, runtime you wanted to just set just put it here and set enter automatically it will update the that yaml file that's what the i'm trying to say here and if you wanted to get as well right so and if you wanted to get here right say cri ctl right uh, and hyphen c config is nothing but uh, sorry config right hyphen hyphen get and i wanted to check the runtime end point what is my runtime end point this one and there is another one right uh, cri ctl info and this is a cri ctl specific information it will it will tell you about the all the details of this cri ctl and you can check that one as well right and, and then the most important cri ctl and also docker specific what the command we used to run cri ctl images which will show the do images which is pulled by the container d runtime because right in this node i am running a container d right this container d is this is the one right and uh, say docker right and these are the images and cri ctl ps which is nothing but ps is a, it will show the running containers right and ps is nothing but it's a containers uh, it will show these are the two containers what are the running here and if i wanted to see all the containers then ps hyphen a same like a docker ps hyphen a how we will use and the good thing about the uh, cri ctl is which is a generic ctl utility whereas excited containers also those are the containers killed also it will have a container id you can go and check and inspect you get it right and and here if you go to the ppt right all the commands i was just explaining right and critical info we just seen and images and we have seen a ps and pod id i will come there and in the cri ctl right cri ctl critical right pods yes it has the new facility called a pods in the docker only docker ps and only but here there is a command called a pods it will list the pods right so rather than using a cube ctl you can use this right i will just clear cri ctl pods these are the pods are running at the moment and you see cube ct cube system namespace default namespace dev namespace uat namespace say if i wanted to say cri ctl hyphen hyphen name space equal to say dev oops sorry my bad i miss the cri ctl i have to tell right what i want pods there is no shortcut here dev what it running in the dev namespace it's a web only one pod is running but not ready status also it will show why because i can go and inspect it this particular specific container why it's not ready and what are the underlying issues i can troubleshoot right and here i can pass the uat as well right and say cri ctl right hyphen hyphen pods hyphen hyphen name what is a pod name i wanted to give it's a simple web in web in where right sorry oh this doesn't have like right this is the one right and say if i specify hyphen l l means the latest pod under the web 
may be 10 pods are created and killed this is a latest pod right and there is another way cri ctl ps which is containers hyphen id equal to pod id you can get the no it's not coming so what is the cri ctl ps right these are the active containers are running so now what i will do is cri ctl uh, i wanted to check the logs so cri ctl logs of container id so i wanted to check this caddy container id logs right right these are the logs and one more thing is you can inspect as well so cri uh, cri ctl inspect what you wanted to inspect a container you can inspect so this is the container id this is the guy i kept here this is a and if you wanted to tell less right and it will give the by page by this is a container i am trying to inspect these are the ones so all the container specific details it will show all the whatever the uh, which is basically complete details of its what the container is using internally and all things you can trace out now uh, another thing is yes, just clear so cri ctl images these are the images i can pull the images sir. cri ctl pull say i wanted to pull nginx yes it will pull the docker image of this particular nginx now now cri ctl images you will be able to see there is another image called uh, nginx here right and which is a sha maybe you can give a some other name also it will it will uh, it will show you right so just an idea uh, right so and and uh, and one more thing is you can inspect images as well so i wanted to inspect this nginx image right so the cri ctl inspect i inspect t so even in fact in the documentation also it's there inspect t inspect means container inspect i means images inspect t and i wanted to inspect say busy box part let's you can give anything any name Oh, sorry it's my i think time typo cri ctl inspect t yeah it's a typo oops right 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 sorry maybe what i will do is i will uh, just do the page wise right and i one less right so this is the busy box pod specific right busy box image sorry it's a digest and all and it's path whatever we used to inspect in the docker you will be able to see here right and uh, yeah so this is the way where you can just check that uh, and say cri ctl pods right? uh, so there is a way cri ctl in P inspect parts of foo part right so you can uh, less so inspect P is not here but this command is there I'm not sure this documentation is yeah inspect P it's there here so uh, you can inspect a pod as well by using uh, its particular uh, specific so, and it has a many more feature as well i'm just trying to give an a basic idea of how this works and all right um, oh sorry less okay so this is a pod basically i'm trying to inspect this particular foo sandbox ready uh, container and all maybe you can uh, see that it's annotation runtime handler much more details even in fact uh, a container has internal syscalls where you won't be able to get using a kubectl logs you will be able to identify that's how the uh, where you can check this all the capabilities see these capabilities are here but these capabilities you cannot 
find out by using a cube uh, CTL logs. So if you wanted to really troubleshoot any pod or anything, right? Then you can. This is the best way to uh, use a CRI CTL. It's really helpful for the administrators. Yeah, and uh, the last but not the least is basically yeah CRI CTL pods, right? Pods, and you can check the logs as well. Uh, but which pod has a metric server logs? Let's try to see. So uh, CRI CTL logs and uh, hyphen F. I'll just will try to tail this whether any logs. It's not there and cube uh, CTL logs. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so uh, and also you can check one more thing CRI CTL of basically PS means I want a containers of pod iPhone iPhone pod what pod I want say oops I think there is a space issue yeah. so this is not coming so you can pod id so here uh, so ctl pods cr ctl ps all right and here you can give the yeah right so you can find out a container id by using a cr ctl ps ps means containers and you give the pod means pod id so in this way uh, you can now here CRI CTL uh, logs of container so it will uh, it will basically it will give you the uh, all the logs right uh, right so that is the way it will give you the some more information about that and also one more thing is CRI CTL stats also there is a command uh, right that will give you the what is a memory disk cpu and all whatever you use it uh, uh, in the right cube ctl top parts etc you will here you will use right the similar command by using you can inspect by using this right uh, yeah then there are some more features maybe you can just explore you can pass the one json configuration file uh, and create a run pod so you can create a pod so docker run kind of something like that there is a run p so you can create a pod so that's what the these commands right we have seen all these things yeah and run and stop as well you can run the stop the containers and pods you can run right uh, right now last slide basically what are the architectural improvements they made so initially this was the case and container d 1.0 when introduced they uh, basically get rid of the docker shim and kubelet is directly talking to the cry container d and container d and then it will finally create a containers right then container d 1.1 is introduced uh, i think i am using a some 1.4 i guess right but this is the information as per the so and this is completely shrink down uh, which is more uh, simpler cri plugin and basically which will talk which will create this particular container d and what happening with the docker is basically docker is basically here and docker also kubelet will talk to the docker and the docker will use a docker daemon that's with the which is the latest improvements architecturally this architectural improvements are taken from the official documentation which is this one these are the images maybe you can check more and they have a more uh, features are added to the latest improvements right uh, but the basic idea is that's what i wanted to share with you all guys uh, and i hope this particular session is helpful and please comment uh, what you guys feel and thank you make use of cri ctl which is very very useful in the cks exam and thank you for listening